first, it was all like a dream. There was this girl, you see, checking in at a Salzburg hotel. I have a reservation here under the name Charmian Carr. And she was there to act in a film. The feeling wouldn't go away that none of this was real. Like signing the register to the strains of an Austrian marching band outside. And what a setting. Was I really in Europe? Was I there to make my first movie? Was I that girl? No, it wasn't a dream. From my private balcony, it still lay at my feet like a magic carpet. The enchanting fairy tale town of music. And so I plunged right in with both feet. All around me as I stepped out, the ancient and modern in striking contrast. Often side by side. And wherever I looked, the universal Austrian meeting place, the cafe. Proof of Salzburg's traditional delight in good conversation, eating, and outdoor living. I'd seen so many pictures of the city, but what a difference to see it, taste it, listen, and feel it myself. In 1756, Mozart was born. Here he began playing the piano at only three, composing at six. Imagine the sounds of music that must have echoed from these walls. The Mirabel Palace, built in 1606 by a Medici Prince Bishop. I counted the marble cupids of Donner's beautiful staircase for this was a palace and garden built for love. And here some odd sounds and sights lay in store for me. Now some amazed passers-by were beginning to guess why these strange Americans had invaded their city. And it brought me back to the reality of why I was here. Only a month before, I'd been cast by Robert Wise in Rogers and Hammerstein's The Sound of Music. But it was time for me to stop horsing around and buckle down to work. In my hotel room, the film's dialogue coach drilled me on my lines. No, 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 no. Remember the word worry? Worry. 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 Like hurry. Hurry. I'll show you. Say courage. Courage. Hurry. Hurry. Worry. Worry. Governess. Governess. Ugly. Ugly. That's right. Now say the line again. Don't. Don't worry about father. He's a big naval hero. He was even decorated by the emperor. Now, go down on the emperor. He was even decorated by the emperor. He was even decorated by the emperor. 6.30 next morning. Life on location means getting to bed by 10. Sound of Music star Julie Andrews and I get the full treatment. Following hair wash, set and dry comes makeup, then costume. Six weeks ago, who'd have imagined me in the same room with Julie Andrews? Well, the location is not good yet. I mean, my intention was to go home and do just that and get in by about half a day. But in fact, it was impossible. The makeup artists are swift, skillful, and highly paid. But after a week or two, you're not exactly hanging by your eyelashes in anticipation of this ritual. By 8.30, we're outside. 
and high above the city, arc lights are lit, and the giant 70 millimeter camera begins to roll on our spectacular set and co-star the city of Salzburg itself. No, no. me on the right playing Liesel, eldest daughter in the Trap family. So we put in words, one word for every notion, like this. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything together. When here the day is far from over 10 30 p.m. we're still hard at work on another scene here's something like 2,000 extras fill an ancient outdoor amphitheater nestled against a mountainside the scene we're shooting features co-star Christopher Plummer as my father Captain Von Trapp making a movie on location can be glamorous at times but for me, the best part was my rare days off, meeting local people and sampling the town, hearing sounds like Salzburg's famous glockenspiel, or climbing a mountain to its oldest and most impressive landmark, the 800-year-old Fortress Hohensalzburg that dominates the town. An actual medieval castle in a state of perfect preservation, built by the Prince Archbishops beginning in the 12th century AD. A stroll through its impressive turrets and historic chambers, even today is not without its surprises. That bull-throated roar that nearly blew me off the battlements is from the castle's 15th century bull organ, certainly not misnamed, and still blowing strong after 500 years. I came back again and again to the castle and its magnificent rooms and courtyards rich in history, never to be forgotten. like the living room of the wealthy prince, looking as though its former inhabitant had just stepped around the corner for a sandwich. Here this whole upper floor was built up during four years, beginning 1498 to 1501 by the Archbishop Leonard Kreutzer. The ceiling in all the rooms were was stuffed with blue velvet, the walls were nice brown. Local holiday, no shooting scheduled. So this morning I was privileged to visit backstage with the world-renowned puppets of Professor Hermann Eicher. For 200 years, he and his family have been making these puppets and exhibiting them here at the Salzburg Marionette Theater. This was Mozart's magic flute in rehearsal. Quiet, please. Roll better. All right, roll it. And once more, back to work. Filmmaking, I had begun to understand only too well, was mainly doing the same thing over, then waiting to do it again. But the gentle voice and manner of producer-director, Robert Wise, somehow made everything we did come more alive. It seemed as though his patience had no end. Over and over and over again. And then, once more, please. But with each retake, he seemed to lift the quality of the scene. Just let some of my friends back home tell me this isn't work. Good. 
And in the frequent waits between takes, what a thrill it was having a great star like Julie Andrews always nearby. How natural and charming she was to talk to. Uh, someone told me you went out to dinner with a baron last night. I went to dinner with a baron. He was very interesting. His father is um, Duke of something or other in Vienna. They have a big castle there and three houses. Did he you go to the really castle? Mm -mm. Where'd you go? It's in Vienna. We went to dinner at the Golden Church. Oh, I've it's been there. It's lovely. Is it? Mm. It's good food. I'd been there once before. <laughs> weeks after it had all begun, it was over. Much too soon. And that was why when cast and crew started winging homeward, one actress lagged behind for just another day. Me. There was too much I hadn't seen. Too many things I hadn't done. Like a carriage ride past the colorful fountains and squares with a non-square Austrian student. The town of music had cast its irresistible spell over me. And though it was time to leave at last, I knew I would return to Salzburg someday. Mm -hmm. 